Shalom, Israel. It's your boy, New Breed, coming through with another video. In this particular video, I wanted to react to a Netflix documentary called The Social Dilemma. That's right, The Social Dilemma. Ladies and gentlemen, we truly have a social dilemma. And that particular documentary was very insightful. I definitely extracted a lot of information from it. And that's why I want to share certain information that I gathered from this documentary. For those who have not watched it, go watch it. It's going to really open your eyes to what social media is really about. And I find it more than necessary to speak on this topic. Because listen... The dilemma is getting more real day by day, real time. As things go down the turnpike, things are taking a turn for the worse as a whole when you're really looking at the dilemma we have. Now, on this particular documentary, they was exposing a lot of these platforms. They really was. You had a lot of insiders and former employees of Google, Facebook, uh, Gmail, so on and so forth. You had a lot of former employees that left for moral reasons. You know, they had ethics, so to speak. Whatever that is in this day and age, because ethics don't seem to exist anymore. But their morals did not bode well with working for these platforms. So they left. And they came together together. They made this particular documentary. All of what I've seen in this documentary, I don't believe was all true. But a great deal of it, I think we can learn from. Now, brothers and sisters, for those who don't know, these platforms are designed to curb public's enthusiasm, to curb their morals, to sway their perception, to actually promote social change. That's actually what social media is for. And they have so many ways of going about promoting social change through these platforms. And usually it's done subliminally to the point where they can make people vote for someone. You know, they can change people's ideas in certain locations. They gather information on certain individuals and try to learn as much as possible about that individual to predict human behavior. I mean, literally predict human behavior. That's why when you go on your phone and you go to Google, Google already know what you're about to search. When you get up in the morning and you do your daily routine, it already knows what music you want to listen to. It knows what mood you in. It's a reason why these phones start reading your eye, getting retinal scans and things of that nature. You know, it's really a breach of privacy in its fullest. But this documentary dug deep. It really showed us where we're at right now when you're looking at it. It really showed us where we're at because things changed in 10 years, brothers and sisters. Human behavior is not the same. People's manners are not the same. The natural state of a man and a woman has changed. Communication has changed. And some of these changes are slight, slight changes. Changes in people's mannerisms. People have a different stature. People's countenance have changed. Because when you create a barrier of separation, that's what happens when people begin to isolate among each other and real, true human interaction pretty much becomes a thing of the past. Then you're going to have people acting different socially when they're actually around each other. And the thing about it is. I personally like to use social media to do the total opposite. I feel like social media could be a double edged sword. You can use it to do good or evil. You can use it in good or bad ways. It just is what it is. I mean, I feel like you should be bridging the gap among people worldwide. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen. 
we have the power in our hands to press a screen and actually stream with people worldwide, all over the world, to interact firsthand worldwide. That is truly power, but it's not being used properly. And the reason why is because a lot of these platforms promote liars, they promote truce breakers, they promote sensationalism, they promote scandal, they promote all these things, into windows, rumors, and they promote all this disinformation. And they do this so when the truth is being told, you won't hear it. They put out so many lies that you don't know the truth when you're hearing it. It's a reason why the Bible calls this place Babylon. It's a reason why they call it Babylon. The word Babel means to run your mouth, to no avail, disinformation, garbage flying and spewing out of the lips of these talking heads. That's Babel. And that's truly what it is. It's confusion. And the whole world is becoming confused to the point where when they hear truth, it just strikes them. Ladies and gentlemen, truth is offensive. Truth is one of them things when people speak the truth, you may be offended because it makes you look at yourself from the outside looking in. You may be offended, but you don't have an educated response. You can't respond to it because it's the truth. And this documentary also goes into grave detail about how people are addicted to social media and it's very true it's very very true i mean they actually designed these platforms to make them addictive to make you keep coming back they really want your time the more time that you're spending on these platforms is the less time you're spending living life and coordinating any type of unity among communities among cities among states among countries because these Satanists fear unity. So they're gonna keep your time indulged in them. And they purposely made these websites to make sure you, you constantly check them. When you hear that ting, when you hear that notification go off, they wanna make sure you run into your phone. And some of y'all don't even know that you addicted to these phones. You addicted to them. On the actual documentary, The Social Dilemma, it was a young teenage boy. He uh, broke the screen of his phone and his parents said, hey, if you could put this phone down for a week and not check your social media, then we'll get you a new phone. The young man couldn't even do it 24 hours. In all honesty, a lot of us can't put our phones down for 24 hours. And you know, watching that documentary made me really focus on how much time that I use my phone. Because listen, we need to be living our lives. We can't continually let, us, let them extract our time. And it, it's all to change and manipulate us, you know? And um, it's quite interesting because they're showing a lot of statistics on this documentary, particularly in regards to women. How a lot of women become covetous how a lot of women become vain, materialistic, and how a lot of women begin to become depressed, especially um, older teenage ladies or women, females. Um, when you're constantly looking at this idealistic lifestyle, right? When you're looking at these, these goals, you know, whether it be relationship goals, uh, body goals, when you're looking at all these things, a lot of times people tend to compare themselves and get into that spirit of covetousness. There's nothing wrong with doing yourself up and trying to be the best version of yourself as you can possibly be. But, you know, a lot of people's idea of beauty is a very narrow scope. And beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And a lot, of, a lot of sisters don't understand that. There is no perfect 
generic default woman that every man is attracted to. So studies have shown within the last 10 years that a lot of women have committed suicide and they have attributed that to social media. All right. Because that's the only abrupt change that society have made. And these numbers have inclined. These numbers have risen. And we got to do something about this dilemma. We got to start to really interact and connect with each other. You know, use social media for its righteous purpose. You know, and a lot of people wonder why I speak against dealing with multiple spiritual leaders and multiple teachers and multiple talking heads is the reason why I'm, I'm always addressing that is because you got to have a house that's built with a solid foundation. All right. A house built with sand is just going to blow away. If you're getting all these talking heads, all of this misinformation and disinformation, you don't know what the truth is. And a lot of the times people don't pay attention to the facts because we've been conditioned in sensationalism. It was interesting. One part of the documentary, one guy actually comes out and says, you know, the truth is boring. So it's quite often that certain conspiracy theories get pushed to, uh, you know, create to create attention because it's all about the generation of cash flow. You live in a system that's all about monetary gain. And that's what it's all about. People will tell lies. People will, you know, sell the public out. People will give misinformation just for a buck. And as content creators, as leaders in your community, as brothers and sisters who are speaking out, you got to make sure that the information you get out and you put out is the real information, the truth. Because there's too many lies out there. And social media has purposely conditioned us to fall for those lies. You know, sometimes we just got to put the phones down, brothers and sisters. I just actually landed in Vegas last night. And uh, it's a beautiful city. It's a beautiful city. I'm smack dab in the middle of Vegas. And you know, I took I took this as an opportunity to meet a lot of brothers and sisters out here. And it's gonna be some good times, some real good times. We're gonna be linking up with some brothers later on. A lot of exclusive content that I'm gonna do here in Vegas is gonna go on my Patreon account which I'll leave the link in the description box because there's going to be a lot of things that we got to talk about in regards to this system that uh, I don't really want to air on YouTube. Um, but if you want exclusive content, go to Patreon. Also tonight, brothers and sisters, we got uh, the Rise of the Tribes music event and you do not want to miss it. It's going to be absolutely fire. I'm going to be on there as a judge I myself, along with Woodrow, former member of Drew Hill, along with Abaya Adonai and Ak Mark, and it's going to be absolutely, positively, the best music event you will ever watch, <laughs> straight up, and I am not exaggerating about that, but um, it's going to be dope, it's going to be a lot of talent on display, I want y'all to catch it, it's going to be at um, 8.30 standard eastern time. For all my brothers and sisters out here in Vegas, it's going to be at 530. Uh, so y'all make sure y'all catch it. And hopefully, you know, this video helps you out in your walk and your journey. And it makes you actually put down your cell phone and live your life. Spend some time out there living. And I want you to put this into perspective as well, brothers and sisters. With all that's going on in the world with everything that's happening. I want you to imagine that you didn't have social media and you didn't have mainstream media. You didn't have none of these things. 
and you only had what you seen every day going on around you. Think about how that would affect your mind in this day and age. Think about it. There's a lot going on in the world. There's a lot of evil. There's a lot of wickedness. There's a lot of things happening. We are in the signs of the times. But imagine not having to see these things on a daily basis because it's in the palm of your hand. Imagine not having to hear all these talking, talking heads and hearing all this babble through social media and you just can focus and hone in on your everyday life, on what you got going on. You can actually focus on your own life. Imagine how that would affect you. Do you know how much depression would go down? Because social media does cause depression. Do you know how much clarity and levity that you would have on your life? Do you know how much things would actually change? they rather have your time spent indulging in the media than actually doing something about what's going on in the world. Actually making the moves to try to unify and help your people. That's just the truth, brothers and sisters. Uh, hopefully this video helps you out in your walk and your journey. If it did, make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Thank you for watching. With that being said, shalom and peace.